Will Belle Delphine be your next girlfriend? We think we, she would be good with you. Wait, no, wait. Mm. Things can get dark when you date e-celebs, okay? Things can get dark. This can get very dark. This can get dark. I want to watch this old Glink video about uh, Twitch girls. Let's do a little reflection. Do a little reflection on the state of Twitch girls. This used to be a goddamn community of gamers, nerds, kids that got bullied, kids that resorted to the gaming world. Classic train wrecks. One of the most base species of all time, by the way. Have you guys seen this speech in full? I, I think I literally have it. Uh, oh, no, this is a different old train speech. I have bookmarked on my computer. This is classic. I watch this probably once a week, but this is a very, very, very base moment okay glink you know glink doesn't post as much as he used to these days and some of the videos he posts are not exactly what i want to be watching some of the time but you know sometimes he posts something that's fire and uh, back in the day he was on a real uh he's on a real tear didn't he get banned for this yes train wrecks did get banned for this unjustly because the real world was too hard too lonely too sad and depressing now it's ran by the same that rejected us the same that shows the goddamn cool yes shit over us taking the yes. money taking the subs the same way they did back in the day that i am the goddamn Reality check. I am the goddamn reality check. I am the goddamn reality check. This guy was spitting. Trainrex is a streamer on Twitch, and this was him expressing his frustration over what seems like an invasion of cam girls onto the popular live streaming site. This rant got so viral that a number of popular outlets reported on the situation and the drama surrounding it. Not long after making these comments, Trainrex <laughs> was banned for five days off of Twitch. Incidentally- Didn't even do anything wrong. Hate speech, really, uh, for young girls. And then obviously, as he points out here, there's this other girl. I've covered this before. This girl was literally pretending to masturbate for donations and got like a one day ban. And this is part of the problem with Twitch and why so many people have left over the years because of just the ludicrous, inconsistent ban policy. Like if you're going to ban someone for being mean, you should definitely be banning someone for doing softcore on your website, don't you think, Twitch? But obviously that's not the mentality they want to go for. And I'm not even totally aware of why Twitch has operated this way for so long. Part of me thinks that it's because they wanted to like appeal to PC culture and like the sort of LA, San Francisco progressive type people because that's where they're from. Part of me thinks it's just like an internal retirement policy they have that they've always been going strong with where it's like, well, we've got to be nice to girls. One rumor I've heard a lot is that some of these girls are sleeping with Twitch staff. I don't know if that's the reality, that's an interesting conspiracy theory, probably pretty unlikely, but um, it's definitely interesting. People all over Twitter and social media, as well as the outlets that reported on the situation were citing misogyny and harassment against women as the main issues. He yeah, that's the main issue. Definitely, dude. Misogyny and harassment against women. Genius take The Verge. Cam girls, also known as booby streamers, also known as titty streamers, also known as $5 for my Snapchat, have been a thing on Twitch for a while now. And it's an issue that has come and gone throughout the year. Are any of these girls even around anymore? I, I, I have no idea who this girl even is. However, with the introduction of the IR... I assume they just get replaced by, you know, the next onslaught, the next army of Twitch women who get famous, you know, wearing a low-cut shirt, basically. I just, I've always had a hard time understanding... I mean, okay, I understand it now because I've, like, listened to people talk about it. But I've always had a hard, hard time understanding why you would watch one of these streamers. Because if you want to, like, see tits, you could, there's actual websites right there's actual websites you can go to to just see girls getting f***ed. so why would you look at that i come to understand that it's because there are guys who watch them to like be their virtual girlfriend and they like have an emotional connection and once again like with the girl that i will be hiring for my stream to profit off of young men's misery the whole point is the promise the idea the implication it's not the actual you know thing itself so really i under i mean this is part of my business model these girls are going to make me rich <laughs> and creative sections, it's become a much more prevalent topic. It's incredibly common to see clips. <laughs> Didn't this girl, is this Pink Sparkles who dated uh, Asmongold? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I think I recognize the bust. It's like this show up on live stream fail every now and then with people calling into question why this is allowed to go on and why these streamers are not banned. Things were sort of coming to a head even before train wrecks got banned. These types of clips Bruh, were becoming more and more kidding. common, at least to those paying attention. Practically and it started serious. to become a real issue for a lot of viewers who were starting to question the direction the site was taking. For the most part, train wrecks was just saying what everyone else was already thinking, but with one crucial error. He claimed that these girl streamers were stealing viewers from other streamers. And the white knights across the internet came out in full force and jumped at this point. I mean, stealing viewers from other streamers, I think that's kind of dumb, because if you're going to go to Twitch for titty content, like, you're just going to watch that. Like, it's a completely different market. Like, watching Ninja or Asmongold, who, like, Ninja, you watch for Fortnite gameplay. Asmongold, you watch for, I guess, whatever game he's playing 
League of Legends, World of Warcraft, stuff like that, or whatever his commentary on various subjects. That's completely different from watching, you know, a booby streamer who says nothing and is just like, oh my God, do you guys want to see my thing? Thank you for the five dollars. Thank you for the five dollar. Like that's it's a completely different thing, obviously. Like I, I don't think they're stealing viewers necessarily. <laughs> I think they're very different markets, you know. Proclaiming that these sexualized girl streamers do not steal viewers from others. You had May cosplayer Jesse Cox Bruh. writing an essay on how this was Seeing a lot of crap being posted about women streamers lately. A lot of we have to take back our Twitch is for nerds, not just titty streamers are ruining the community and stealing views. Where do I even start? Secondly, don't shame women or anyone for that matter for streaming the way they want. Um, okay, you, I mean, you can shame them. That's epic. Uh, it's the entertainment business and audiences enjoy different things. Don't hate someone's hustle. I mean, wh why not? Don't put your stigmas on others. Well, actually, this whole thing reeks of insecurity. If you think your audience is being stolen, if you fear you aren't as big as you should be, it's not a woman's fault. Look in the mirror, figure out what works for you. Deep dive those analytics and worry about yourself. There's obviously more to say, but this is, I mean, I actually agree with the last part of that. That's actually true. I, I would I would never complain about the fact that I'm not getting views because some ASMR girl with big tits is getting views. Like, it's not the same thing, you know? Just make better content, truly. It's just not the case. First off, this is factually wrong. There is zero evidence to support a person who watches one streamer <laughs> would instead watch you if their favorite didn't exist. Streaming is a personality-based business. While a search for a game might be the gateway, it's the personality of the streamer that keeps them. Oh, yeah, it's definitely... Yeah, it's the it's the personality. Definitely the... It's her personality. She's got a great personality, I mean, to her credit. I mean, she's got a lot of interesting commentary on these subjects. Personality right that keeps the viewers up. Jesus. Are those real? Streams like this or... What is going on? This, watching, and donating to the streamer. Bro. All personality. Our trap's gay. Our trap's gay. This is also a... Yes. Similar point that a streamer named Ninja made in a Twitter video. If they're in a stream, a female streamer stream because she's got big tits or she's gorgeous or whatever, they're there for that reason. So if she's, I mean, not I, I would there, agree with that. They're not going to come to basic messaging. I'd say that's a decent argument. Who's playing? You know, who sucks at a game or something? You know what I mean? Like now, these people aren't technically wrong, but they all are completely missing the point. Look, the problem isn't right, that these the girl point? streamers are stealing viewers from others per se, but rather that by allowing these sexualized streams <laughs> to continue, Twitch is changing the dynamic of their site. I mean, I would agree it is changing the culture of the site. It's probably a bad idea to have sexual content on. Twitch. I feel like they should be separate things, right? Like, if you want to be a cam girl site, have the cam girls on this site on twitch.com slash or whatever. And then you can have the actual, you know, normal streamers here. For advertising purposes, it doesn't even make to ha make sense to have them on the same thing because they're going to be advertising to completely different people, right? But at the same time, I mean, YouTube has wildly different content. YouTube also, though, is a lot wider in scope, a lot bigger in scope. So it kind of it kind of makes more sense, you know, that, that would be the case uh, on YouTube versus Twitch, which is a much smaller site. And was initially created for like a gaming site purpose or whatever. And then it, it kind of evolved with time into IRL and just chatting and stuff like that. It's kind of silly to have them on the same site, you know. It, it doesn't really make sense to me. It's a site primarily focused on live streaming gameplay. And then it evolved into gameplay plus IRL and creative. And not so far down the road, it's going to turn into softcore chatterbait. Twitcher bait. If things base. continue the way they are. What I mean by this is that if Twitch does not have any hardline rules in place to prevent girl streamers or guys from selling sex, then that will be a big part of what users go to the site for, and it will become a part of the site's identity. In fact, both Ninja and Jesse Cox basically supported my point by saying that viewers of these sexualized girl streamers would never watch other streamers anyways. They're not gonna come to Joe Schmo who's playing, you know, who sucks at a game or something. <laughs> and that's exactly the problem. These types of streamers bring in a demographic that is completely different from what the rest of Twitch is We need an immigration moratorium on Twitch, okay? No more of the Coomers, we gotta keep the Coomers out. We're gonna build a wall to keep the Coomers out, okay? It's disgusting, you know? Some of them are good people, but, uh, you know, Cooming? Not on Twitch, all right? Not on Twitch. It's, it's cruel. It's disgusting. It's horrible. Now, that's not a problem <laughs> per se. I mean, if you're fine with Twitch being a more sexualized site and catering to that audience, then it's not a problem for you. But it should at least be understandable that a lot of gamers do not want that to happen. Regarding Twitch's enforcement of the rules, this is something that has always been an issue. In fact, the direction the site goes and the type of platform it becomes is way more determined by the rules and their enforcement 
than by the streamers who take advantage of it. The problem is TikTok now, there are so many videos that are just women stealthily flashing the camera to advertise their own fans. Is that a thing that happens? I guess I wouldn't be surprised. At the end of the day, these girls are doing what any other guy would do if they were in the same situation, hustling for their business, even if that means sexualizing themselves uh, for viewers. The so again, I don't blame the girls in all of this per se. In Twitch's own terms of service, it states that, quote, inappropriate broadcaster behavior and attire, nudity, and conduct involving overtly sex- It's literally against the rules. I assume Twitch just doesn't want to be called sexist for banning these people, but it's against their code of conduct do you guys remember not that long ago they like introduced a new rule which is like now you can have drawn nudity and then all these furry porn artists started popping up on twitch and then all of them got banned like within a day because there was some problem with communication with twitch do you, do you guys remember that that was an epic moment i mean on one hand it's like you know those people were doing gross stuff so i mean they got banned major l there l big l but at the same time like twitch said it was okay so you can't really retroactively just ban them actual behavior and or attire are that's what morg, morg pie got famous because she like had her tits out and then had like a sensor bar over it or something or no it was it was like uh it was like they were just out of frame so she was like hovering below the camera with like this is the bottom of the frame they're like tee hee hee and you can see them bouncing but because you, because you can't see their nipples it's not technically nude or something yet there is huge gray area as to what exactly constitutes overtly sexual behavior <laughs> and i know i know so many people have a problem with this like they there's no way she actually talks like that right this is like a troll <laughs> such a huge problem with realizing that what I do is allowed on Twitch. If I There's no way she actually has that voice and talks like that. This is fake. No woman actually talks like that. No person talks like that in real life. Is she white? Why is she talking like that? Can wear a low cut shirt in the 21st century and use it to their advantage. Pink Sparkles, a popular and- Bro, that picture is crazy. Controversial girl streamer. She looks like a flower vase. Had a discussion with another streamer, Destiny, in which she basically admitted that in her discussions with Twitch staff, they told her that she was in a gray area with the rules, but she was allowed to be, which makes no- sense and sounds totally unprofessional and they've they've even told me like i'm kind of in the gray area i suppose mm -hmm. one time they actually told me that i'm not allowed to do squats for bits <laughs> which to be fair, perfectly honest i don't really understand that because i'm allowed to do squats for subs she's talking more normal there like she's talking like kind of a normal person so what was up with that voice was she just like baiting for attention to talk like a stupid person well there you have it we seem to have found the line i guess it's not a gray area after all you see if you squat in a sexual way for bits that's not allowed of course yeah. not that's what they do on trashy sites but these girls are just like me you guys literally pay me to take my shirt off but i'm literally the same i just realized i'm the same person as them i'm the same person i can't even be that mad like I, I do the same exact for for a hundred dollars the other day. Someone paid. I, I had to take my shirt off. Like, dude, I'm literally I'm literally a cam girl. It's like my free cams are chatterbait, but you can squat for subs. That's a lot more respectable and <laughs> classy, obviously. Beyond just catering to their viewers on streams, a lot of these cam girls also provide benefits to their viewers in other ways, if they are willing to pay, of course. These include things like Patreon and Snapchat, which for the right price can net you the types of lewd pictures and clips that Twitch won't allow. In fact, one streamer even sold her used panties before. <laughs> it really is kind of a Bruh, genius a way to hustle money out of viewers. And while you may not like it, remember the onus is kind of on Twitch to enforce the rules and prevent this <laughs> if that's what they want. And if you're a donator to one of these streamers expecting to get that same- This clip is so awesome. This clip is like one of my favorite clips of all time. I, I watched this with the Cheeto. This is like five or six years old at this point, but this is like a legendary clip, dude. This guy's like one of her like admins or mods or something kind of attention in real life this is most high five. likely how it will play out I yeah, like, nailed it nailed it Show <laughs> this guy this guy I, I, where's this guy now can i talk to him can he be my friend i love this video i'm a mod for you bruh i would become such an incel if that happened to me where I think a lot of people miss the mark on this is when they cite the harassment women face as a response to people being frustrated over the sexualization of the site. When in reality, these two things are not mutually exclusive. 
Streamer Kelly Jean says, titty streamers. Kelly Jean, wait, I forgot about this girl. This girl, I forgot she was involved in this. This is like like a Destiny Orbiter now. I've talked to this girl before. She's like the, 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 uh, she's like Irish or something or Scottish or English. She, she was in that clip on the Destiny stream when I was, when I like roasted uh, Merc off the perk or whatever. You guys remember that? You can hear her in the background. Yeah, this video. What's the purpose of that comment? I'm trying to stop them from. That's Kelly Jean right there. I'm trying to stop them. I'm bullying you because what, it's the purpose of bullying you. Be... Is okay, right. there is a clear oh, purpose. The clear God. purpose would be your mom. All right. This guy, man. This is just. Uh... XQC did not like that at all. He thought I was so retarded. He's right. Okay, this is this is just real prime time grade A fucking wag you. You got own. <laughs> Bro, you got own. Your own. No, I, so awesome. Yeah, your mom. Your mom. Wow. No, you reverse Uno. Your mom owns you, little yeah. bro. Oh, right. oh, you L, L Riz. L Riz. L. Dude, what the fuck is going? On? Like what? You have no Riz. Is it? You're definitely a YouTuber. Definitely. Gangnam Style, bro. Gangnam Style. <laughs> you're you're yes. What? You, you realize how sound right wait 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 till, wait till you see the just yes, see though <laughs> yeah you, know, you don't have anything to say and so you're just gonna come over here and just say right dame to cosita you're owned. Dude. Yeah, i'm owned i'm owned i'm owned excuse you don't know you will bro <laughs> dude that was epic. That was epic. That was like one of my greatest moments in my entire life. And here she is all the way back then. Titty streamers causing harm to kids, zero. Evidence, global harassment of female streamers, consistent daily evidence. Which one was the problem again? Causing harm to kids, <laughs> zero evidence. Global harassment of female streamers, consistent daily evidence. Which one was the problem again? Harassment is something every big streamer faces. It's not just True. exclusive to girl streamers, and it's certainly not just exclusive to more sexual streamers. Harassment is an issue, but depending on how you want the future of the site to be, cam girls and the sexualization of Twitch can also be an issue. Renee, a streamer on Twitch says, if all the titty streamers were gone tomorrow, does anyone really think shitty people would stop degrading and insulting women? Well, probably not, but that has nothing to do with the core issue here, which is the selective enforcement Spit of the Spit your fire. Which is fire, fire, and the direction the site is going with these types of cam girl screams. Also, speaking of respecting women and not degrading them, if anything, cam girls who are only interested in selling Bro. sex lower the Jesus. standards and make it harder for more reserved girls to make it by genuinely playing games and being <laughs> themselves there are plenty of girls who she's just drawing she's a nice girl are not trying to sell sex aren't trying to milk she's their just viewers, her and aren't trying to skirt the rules of thing. twitch yet arguably they are affected the most by these cam girl types I'm ashamed to say Twitch is a platform that supports lazy females selling their bodies for cash you are teaching little girls to sell sex because that's what's popular Make them wear t-shirts and pants, compete on the same playing field as men. Feminism is equality. Spread the word. Based. And some of them have actually voiced their frustration in regards to the sexualization of Twitch. It's not at all an issue of misogyny or harassment. Although those things do go on, that is a separate issue from the sexualization of the site with the loosely enforced and very vague rules. And for the guys out there that are okay with this sexualization of the site, okay with these loosely enforced rules and okay with the direction that the site is heading all i have to say is be careful what you wish for based dude okay pretty good video from glink well the reason why i bring this up is because this is like the history of the of the of the hot tub streamers or i guess it wasn't even hot tub meta at this point just titty streamers right but in the modern day we are currently experiencing the same problems on twitch currently experiencing the same phenomena twitch voice critical has made a video about it to recap all of it and go over it which uh you know Charlie usually has good takes, usually does decent research. So I'm curious to see what he has to say and what the new meta is. I've seen lots of screenshots. I saw this one picture of a, I'm pretty positive it was Morg Pie. When she like, she was playing a game and then the other camera was on her ass and she had a green screen to show Fortnite on her butt. That's what she was doing. This video is six years old. Yeah, this video was six years old. This video is seven days old. So we're going we're gonna to compare it to the future. Or to the present, rather. Feels like every year we get a new update on this stuff. I literally, I think the first video on the Tom Dark channel is literally, or one of the first comment. I think the first commentary video I made is about this similar subject. Let's see here. Uh, da, da, da. yeah, this hot tub streamers rant, twenty thousand views two years ago, and Amaranth commented on this video. Let's see here. 
May 19th, 2021. Yeah, dude. Time to talk about tits. Girls who show skin. Okay. And, and the culture around them has long on, been a discussion on Twitch. The last time that it came to a peak was a few years ago when the community was up in arms about the just chatting section being populated by girls who managed to get by exclusively by showing their cleavage to their audience rather than having anything no, talk about some of the same stuff Glenn talked about here. For their actions. Today, the same sort of discussion has been kicked Bruh. Anna for the better part of this year and gotten no repercussions. And it's not like she even tried to hide the fact that her appeal comes down to her body. She's constantly promoting her OnlyFans, etc. And despite the I fact do sound that a, a lot of yeah. streamers, I wasn't. I mean, I was. Uh, I guess eighteen when I made this. Sees and selective enforcement. Nothing has been done, or at least that was the case until the last few days. On May eighteenth, Amaranth tweeted out. Yesterday, I was informed that Twitch has indefinitely suspended advertising on my channel. Twitch did not reach out in any way whatsoever. I had to initiate the conversation after noticing, without any prior warning. All the ad revenue disappeared from the channel analytics. This is an alarming precedent and serves as a stark warning that although content may not ostensibly break community guidelines or terms of service, Twitch has- Ostensibly, that's a big word. She's a genius. Dude. Complete discretion to target individual channels and partially or wholly demonetize them for content that is deemed not advertiser friendly, something that there is no communicated <laughs> guideline for. This leaves open-ended the question of where the line is drawn. Many people complain about TOS being unclear, but at least there's something to go by. There is no known policy for what results in a streamer being put on a blacklist. As for the reaction to Amaranth saying this, some people have said that Twitch removing ads without telling her sets a bad precedent. They say that she didn't explicitly break any rules, which I would disagree with, while others have said that she had this coming and got what she deserved by making this kind of content. On a side note, streamer Destiny said that this could have been a breach of contract by Twitch. I, I'm i like well, I was nine, quoting Destiny even back then. That's crazy. 5% sure. It was a I don't think I'd ever, I don't think I'd ever even spoken to him at this point. Of my contract, because I read through it a few times. I did. And the we were, Destiny documentary is literally coming out tomorrow. Crazy. Fighting over things. Crazy. And they, I'm supposed to have time to remedy breaches. It's like a 30 day remedy period, or they have to inform you if they're cutting off the contract. Like it has to be like a written statement for what? He was, was he even in Miami at this point? This was like a different place. Why? They can't just say he broke it. It's strange they didn't say anything, but also, um, I think he was living in also LA. for um, for Alinity stuff too. Imaging for Twitch's ad revenue, however, if they allow it, they allow the it. The weirdest thing about Amaranth to me is also has always been that she looks like a model and then her voice sounds like a like the president of the yearbook club at, in high school. That's always been the thing that's thrown me off about her. Leading many to basically say good riddance. So <laughs> what is the take here? What do I have to say? This is a, a rant after all, right? I'm of the opinion that Twitch should allow this content on their site, as should most sites. I call myself really? a free speech enthusiast, and Whoa. believe it or not, I think that girls in bathing suits should probably fall under that umbrella and be allowed. Provocative. However, I would also say I'm about to say something to the effect of like, uh, they shouldn't ban male streamers and make fun of them. Everybody should be allowed. That's probably what I'm gonna say. Content exists everywhere, especially online. There's there's really no way to enforce it accurately. Due to the presence of innuendos and frequent abuse of loopholes, nuance, there are so many hypotheticals I can think of for something that could be considered sexual or couldn't. I think it's an extremely hard policy to enforce, and as a result, I don't think that Twitch should probably really try true. to enforce it at all. Because once they do, they start having double standards and people get upset at them. <laughs> I think most websites like Twitch should have a hands off approach to this for amaranth she will probably be fine because you know she's a huge streamer damn all right well what does critical have to say about this liking your own video do i like all of my own videos every every single one of my video videos that i post i give a like i don't like my own tweets but i probably should start doing that because i have the best twitter account on twitter you're just not going to get content like mine okay you're not now i know for a lot of people twitch is mainly like a gaming platform but it's gone through so many different changes that it's more than that now there's huge events that are hosted there really high quality productions irl streams a lot of different content is on twitch these days and when you think of twitch now the first thing you think of isn't always going to be gaming and there's nothing wrong with that but i want to drag you kicking and screaming into the future because a pioneer has just arisen to really showcase the power of technology behold true gaming in its purity bro what the hell form this is what streaming is I all can't about be comfortable now the censoring on her butthole was done by me i felt i had to just to make sure that this video would be safe to be uploaded but make no mistake while live it was not censored at all this was the director's cut you could see her butthole is she banned full-blown poop shoot she should definitely be banned for that right action barely covered poop by action. like the tiniest <laughs> string of fabric so last night while i was streaming chat was telling me that i should check out her stream because they wanted my opinion on if it was breaking twitch terms of service like i'm some kind of hall monitor for twitch and it just piqued my curiosity so i checked it out her name is strawberry tabby and she was one of the most popular streamers last night while i was on she was playing valorant at the time but she had been live for five hours streaming <laughs> 
And I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw that this was the setup. So there's the torso cam for like the titties, like so it's mainly like honkers and a very tight bikini, and then a totally separate camera just for butthole, a pure cam, and then like a very tiny box for gameplay. Now, when I was made aware of this, I was joking about it, and at some point during the stream, she went on like a phone call for a brief moment and then came back with a changed. So CG. it seems like she must have got a call from someone at Twitch letting her know that her previous garments weren't acceptable. So she changed into this, yet kept everything else exactly the same. And you. Why? Why do people want to see her butthole? That's my question. Isn't it like poopy or something? Like, why, why do you, it's like the butt, it's the butthole. The fascination with buttholes has always been, like, with an, an, an anal has been strange to me. Like, dude, are you, are you Mr. Poopcock? I'm Mr. Poopcock. You shouldn't be fascinated with that. I am Mr. Poopcock. You can still, of course, see, like, butthole anus folds and everything. Like, it's still, like, you can still see all of it, but there's a little bit more covering towards the crack, like the ass crack top of it. And I, I couldn't help but just laugh. For a while now, there's been this arms race on Twitch with sexual content where creators have found that it makes a lot of money to do sexual content on Twitch and it builds a huge audience. So they're constantly trying to push boundaries for what Twitch will allow. And Twitch just doesn't crack down hard on it themselves. Like, the most you'll ever see a creator get banned for for these type of streams is, like, three days. Yeah, there was guys a who pretend to be straight. Yeah, you know, some would argue that, uh, some would argue that butt stuff is a gateway to sexuality and i think there may be some truth to that in certain circumstances certainly creator who fully goateed herself on stream and she got a three-day ban there was another streamer who just fully had sex on stream and only got a three-day ban so there's no real risk associated with trying this and you stand to gain a lot of money from it so it's not like i'm even <laughs> mad at her or anything it's really a don't hate the player hate the game situation because twitch doesn't really do much about it thus it must be okay with their policies but anyway i just wanted to show you some of the clips from last night where i was going through this in real time and just to give you an update on where things are at this morning she received a ban which I'm not taking responsibility for it. It's not my fault. That, that, for one you can't minute, blame me, Coomers. I, I know there's a lot of angry gooners that think I was the, the reason she got banned, but I am I am innocent in this. I, like all of you, was just watching the content, and that was it. I, I didn't report her or anything. Okay. I, th I think we probably got the gist of that. But, uh, yeah, Twitch is certainly in an interesting position with that kind of content. Curious what the future is, but, you know, I just wish they had consistent enforcement of bans. There's multiple streamers who are permaban right now that definitely shouldn't be, and they d technically didn't even break any specific policy. Meanwhile, these girls are allowed to run rampant and just make millions and millions of dollars off of breaking the rules. And it actually benefits them to break the rules, like you said, because what will happen is like you go on Twitch, you do something saucy, you get banned for a day, you come back, and then there's even more people. It tends to be the uh, tends to be the process there, right? It tends to be the evolution type thing going on. So yeah, I would, I would definitely say that uh, Twitch has a, a little bit of a problem there, which is why a lot of people are leaving just because of the inconsistent ban policy. Twitch ultimately is a uh, part of the past, in my opinion, part of the past. And be sure to become a member. For $5 a month, they get the members-only podcasts and exclusive videos that only members get. Thanks so much for your support. Yeah!